Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMS tutorial. Uh, today we will learn that how we can add the third layer which is in the panel for sky solar cells and that we call whole transporting material. So let me do that for you. Uh, first of all we will go to the AMS software then we need to check the ambient condition. Uh, the light should be on quantum efficiency should be on and everything if is uh, it is correct so you should click ok then we go for the material so if we remember that we add our two layers one was the ATL which is electron transporting layer and the other was uh, the perovskite which is active layer so I save it on that on the first layer so I should open that over here so you will see uh, Titina is the first layer and perovskite is the second layer now today we need to add the HTL as we uh, as we know that the perovskite uh, uh, solar cells are actually the combination of the layers in which there are three important layers uh, the HTL the perovskite and etl so today we can add that layer so we should click on add then here i need to define which which material i'm going to use as a htm or whole transporting material so here i want to use spiro so spiro omitted this is the name of uh, one of the uh, whole transporting layer you can you can see many uh, many other material materials as well so I have uh, the electrical properties over here spiral has uh, first of all we need to define the thickness of the uh, uh, the spiral in this case it, it is uh, 0.15 then we need to add the electrical properties so uh, the permittivity of the spiral is uh, round about 3 and the band gap is uh, around 2.91 and the affinity of the spiral is 2.2 and the effective conduction band density would be uh, 2.5 and e to the power 20 in both case and this is in the conduction band and the effective density in the valence band would be 2.5 uh, 2.5 and e to the power 20 then we go for the mobility so the mobility for the whole uh, for the electrons would be 0 0.0001 and similarly for the holes it would be 0 0.001 and then we go for the donor concentration so the donor concentration for the HTL or whole transporting layer should be zero because this is the p-type material and we need to add the accepted like uh, uh, concentration or the density uh, that is for the spiral 4 e to the power 17 and it may be different for the other materials uh, then we go on for the defects uh, which can which can tell us that how our material is it is good or uh, like uh, the defects are more or less so let's say we can add some defects uh, let's say I'm going to add uh, the donor like cushion defect sets so I need to define that like donor then I have discrete, I have banded, I have Gaussian. So I select here the Gaussians like defect layers, uh, defect sets, which is donor like. And then I have to define how much density uh, it, it would have. Uh, over here, let's say it is uh, 10, uh, so e to the power, e to the power 17 and for the 
energy level or uh, we can say the peak energy level that is 1.1 and similarly the deviation uh, would be 0 0.1 and the capture cross section for the holes and um, uh, electrons it would be for the for the electrons let's say it is 10 to the power uh, minus 19 and for the holes it is 10 to the power uh, minus 18 similarly we need to define the band tails uh, for the spiral and that is around about 0 0.01 uh, in the conduction band and in the valence band similarly 0 0.01 and the ground state uh, density would be uh, 10 to the power 14 and similarly the capture cross section for the holes that would be 10 to the power minus 17 to 10 to the power minus 15 and then we can click on this as well as the band gap stress then today i will also uh, add the acceptor like in the previous uh, sections or tutorial i have just added the donor like and i left the other one for you people and today i will add that as well so that you can you can be familiar with that or uh, let's say i want to add and this should be acceptor like and this is uh, the gaussian state and the density is 10 to the power 17 for both and the energy deviation is one point, energy level would be 1.1 for both and the deviation is uh, 0 0.1 and the capture cross section now you need to shift in the previous if you see here in the donor light it was 10 to the power minus 19 uh, and uh, 10 to the power negative 18 now you have as we know that donor and acceptor are opposite to each other so this should be uh, e to the power minus 18 to 10 to, uh, 10 to the power negative 19 so it, you just need to switch uh, or just uh, change the numbers in opposite direction now we have to define the band gap and similarly uh, band tails and also the middle uh, gap states and so on so this is actually about the uh, the donor and acceptor like uh, defect density and you need to add for all the three layers then we go on for the optical so we don't need for the optical file or the optical conditions for this uh, material because uh, we consider that uh, perovskite is the active layer and all the incoming light will be utilized by that layer not by the etl or the htl so we need to do that is let's say now i need to save it in each uh, section if you add anything so you need to save it again and again so i need to save it uh, let's say i save and uh, i want to save i want to replace my previous uh, device extension which is first layer now i need to save it will give me the option that you want to replace it so yes you want to replace then okay and after that we will see that how the results will run and what we can get from these uh, materials under these conditions and we will, we will see that in coming uh, tutorial please uh, uh, let me know if you have any question and any difficulties or if you need this software so i can share that with you people and please uh, subscribe share and like and write comments so that we can discuss and we can improve our knowledge. Thank you so much.